It's no secret that there are many ADA requirements to know about in the practice of architecture. Today, we're going to focus on those that apply to elevator design. It's important that elevators are designed in order for wheelchairs to enter, maneuver within reach of controls, and exit. Let's begin with the size of the car. An elevator with doors located in the center should be at least 80 inches wide, 51 inches deep from the back wall to the front wall, and at least 54 inches deep from the back wall to the door. The door's clear opening should be at least 42 inches wide. Meanwhile, an elevator with doors located off to one side should be at least 68 inches wide, 51 inches deep from the back wall to the front wall, and at least 54 inches deep from the back wall to the door. The door's clear opening should be at least 36 inches wide. All car controls must have braille and should be no higher than 54 inches above finished floor for a side approach or 48 inches for a front approach. The hall lantern must be a minimum of 72 inches from the finished floor to the center of the fixture, and the floor designation must be 60 inches from the finished floor to the center of the sign. Visual signals should be easily seen, and audible signals must indicate car approach and whether it's moving up or down. The elevator should sound once if going up, and twice if it's going down. Finally, the minimum time between the audible signal that a car has answered a call to the moment the doors start to close should be no less than five seconds in order to give the passenger enough time to enter the elevator. A cheat sheet with these requirements can be found on our website. Just click the link in the description below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss new videos. See you next time. If you want to see more ARE study help, practice questions, explanations, and tips for aspiring architects, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And check out our website, linked in the description below. You'll find full-length practice exams, our blog for aspiring architects, and our free ARE playbook.